What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. We've learned Earth's languages through the World Wide Web. A lot of you guys that's coming into the industry, and a lot of you guys that's already here in the industry, a lot of you guys seems to not understand the severity of your indulgence, right? You come in knowing that you like smoke weed every day. You know that you like doing that. It's a regular thing to you. You don't think it's no big deal. You 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 light up a J, you light up a spliff, and you just just do it. It calms you down. I understand. Long day of work, long day of dealing with people, long day of just, you know, the daily grind. You just want to come home and Smoke weed every day. I get it. I understand it. It's a stress reliever. It's just like it, it, it's just like smoking a cigarette. But cigarettes are legal. Well, the spliffs are legal too. You know, they just recently made it legal. And see, a lot of you guys fail to realize the main reason why they made it legal, right? Right? I mean, when I was growing up, you know, Smoke weed every day. that was illegal, you know, that was illegal. But now, back in the day, we all talked about that and we said that the only reason why it's illegal is because the government can't control it like they do liquor and cigarettes smoke weed every day i'm telling you, the government was buying their time until they actually figured out how to sanction and control smoke weed every day and now they got now they found the way and they just recently legalized amongst a couple of states. Now, just because it is legal to smoke weed every day, just because it's so legal to do that, it's not legal for you when you come into driving a truck, a commercial vehicle. Companies have drug and alcohol testing for a reason, especially being a commercial truck driver. Now, it's already dangerous out here when driving a truck, but when you add drugs and alcohol into the mix, it becomes more dangerous. I've seen way too many TikTok videos, way too many YouTube videos of people getting pulled out of their trucks high as hell and drunk as fuck. But here you are coming into the industry thinking to yourself that, hey, you know, Smoke weed every day. that's not a big deal. That's not a big deal. And some of you that's already in the industry, that's already driving trucks, don't even think it's a big deal because you're doing it on your off day. You're doing it on your personal time. You're doing it on your 34 hours. Now, look, I'm not a, I'm not an indulger, so I really don't know. I mean, I, I dibbled and dabbed into it, you know, in my, in my youth. You know, I mean, being that I, you know, I, I, I couldn't hold it. So it probably stayed in my body just a little bit longer than usual. But I knew growing up and how important drug tests was, I stopped. And I knew more importantly that when I got into the
my God, that is the best coffee I've ever tasted. The industry, I knew how much that it was extremely important. That's why I don't drink no more. Oh, man, I used to drink a lot. Trust me, I, I used to drink a lot. But since I started driving, I knew how important my driver's license was to me in keeping a job. Your driver's license is the job. Not the job that you that you work for. No, your driver's license is the job. So if you want to keep the job, then your, your thing is to keep your license clean. So if smoke weed every day is the thing that you like to do, whatever the case. Whatever excuse that you try to come up with, you you might not want to put that on the job. And the job is your license. I'm telling you. Let's get into it. I'm a recent grad from a truck driving school, and I went through the SAP. <sighs> Already? Nobody will take me because I have no experience. Oh, that's strike two, bro. I know they won't take me because of the insurance and stuff, but I guarantee once a company sees me drive that rig, they'll hire me instantly. I'm sure they would. I mean, if they see anybody driving a big rig, they, they, they will hire you instantly. We all do the same thing. There's nothing special. Get behind the wheel, start the ignition, turn on the truck, and stay focused. Put both hands on the wheel and drive. In, anybody disagree with me on that? Let me know in the comments below if you disagree with me on that. All right, let's continue. I just need to be pointed in the right direction. I'm on my last step, which is step six. And listen, I don't care about the low pay or whatever. I'll take anything just to get on the road. It's been my dream for real. What? I don't need you to tell me how fucking good my coffee is, okay? I'm the one who buys it. I know how good it is. When Bonnie goes shopping, she buys shit. I buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when I drink it, I want to taste it. But you know what's on my mind right now? It ain't the coffee in my kitchen. It's the well, look, I'm, I'm going to start at the bottom. If this has been your dream for real and you kept smoke weed every day, then obviously that dream was a nightmare because you, you wasn't keeping that dream alive. See, here's the thing. A lot of you guys get into trucking, uh, and I always say this, for whatever reason, whether it's financial, whether it's uh, family, or whatever it's, whatever the case, people need money. Everybody needs money. That's why they call it money. You need money to pay bills. You need money to go through life. Everything has a cost. You need a place to stay. You need money. You need them lights, gas, telephone to stay on. You need money. You need that cell phone so you can continue to make social media videos. You need money. Everybody needs money. That's why they call it money. Okay. That's why y'all get jobs. But it's going to take some money to get the CDL that you need so you can get the job to make money. And you're already you're, you're already two strikes into the game, bruh. You're already two strikes into the game. Strike one is because you failed the drug test at school. Now, listen, I, I, I don't know your situation, and I, I don't know if the school told you 
about the drug test. But if you know that you smoke weed every day and you're not going to be able to pass the drug test, bro, you shouldn't have went. You should have hold up. You should have you, you should have waited a while. I'm just saying. Don't get me wrong. I'm not coming after you on the on on the bad side. I'm 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 hoping for the best for you, bro. I'm hoping for the best. All right. But bro, already you said that you flunked in school. Now now you got you you got lucky that the school continued with you because some schools especially if you're going through a truck driving school via company yeah they 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 would have tossed you out on your behind but i understand if you paying five thousand ten thousand dollars then yeah yeah finish it finish it bro can i take your order can i get a tall chai a large black coffee a what large black coffee do you mean a venti no i mean a large he means a venti yeah the biggest one you got venti is large no venti is 20. i <sighs> I, I I understand, I understand the indulgence, but you're gonna have to, you're gonna have, if that's something that you like to do, bro, you're gonna have to sacrifice and not do it. So you're on here looking for help. I, you know, a lot of people in the Facebook group can give you a lot of suggestions. Hey, this company, that company, this company, but I'm about to tell you, a lot of companies, a lot, a, a lot of, a lot of training companies is not going to bring you on. Prime is not going to bring you on. Swift not going to bring you on. Snyder's not going to bring you on. All of the meg mega carriers that that you need to get with in order to get your experience, which you do not have, they're not going to bring you on. So, two strikes, bruh. They're not going to bring you on because you don't have no experience. Forget about going to, forget about going to the, the regular, you know, mom and pop companies. Forget about that because they looking for like year, you know, at least a, at least a year and a half to two years of experience. And nine out of ten do not, let me repeat, do not accept sap drivers so you're already in a rock in a hard place bro i know it's your dream i i feel you it's unfortunate that you got yourself locked in the fmcsa's sap program and you working your way out of that i have talked to a lot of drivers that has worked their way out of that and i talked to a lot of drivers that has completed and and are a little bit more successful they're a little bit more conscious on what they not going to do and if it's smoke weed every day that you're going to have to put to the side you're going to have to put that to the side bro I'm sorry, you're gonna have to put that to the side. Now you're 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 in you're you're in the FMCSA and again you're at a you you at a you're at a rock in a hard place, guy. A lot of people in the chat, God bless them, because they are, you know, giving you some advice, but a lot of a lot of the companies that they mentioned that I mentioned, they're not gonna give you a chance, bruh. You know, you you probably might look up with companies like Western Express because you did mention the fact that you say the low pay. You don't care about the low pay. I get you. I understand. You know, maybe Western Express. But what I'm going to say is, I I I don't want to, <laughs> I I I don't want to give this advice out, but. If you honestly really want to get with a company uh, and hopefully they will bring you on, you probably might have to look towards the black ops companies, bro. I mean, I, I've been saying plenty of times that the black ops companies are the companies that be effing drivers. I get it. I don't know. I hope I don't fall. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
They F drivers, but they also, there's a few of them that help drivers. So what you're going to have to do, sir, all right, you're going to have to do your research. Look into it hard. Look into it fast. And hopefully you'll come up with, you know, uh, a good situation. But one thing for sure, and I, I, I hope all you guys <laughs> agree with me, that Smoke weed every day. in the trucking industry, whether it's legal or not, it's not going to happen for you. And I, I, I just hope everything works out for you. Big G's got it locked, boy. Won't you to let me all night? Yeah, take me down. Won't you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Won't you to take it like a G? Yeah, don't make a sound.